no dogs, no Irish, no blacks. We had to always watch our backs. We were told this was the mother country. What mother uses terms that are derogatory? What kind of mother rejects and sets out to inject a sense of worthlessness within the child she should caress? For 50 years we've struggled and fought, sometimes defiant, sometimes distraught, to make a place and be accepted as young or old and black and gifted. And look what we've achieved despite having to live aggrieved. We built and developed the NHS, made London Transport one of the best established accountable while we were oppressed, that's now renowned as Europe's largest. Facing fascism and humiliation, tackling racism, discrimination. Just look what we've achieved despite having to live aggrieved. We've excelled within this land that refused a helping hand. In spreading the word of the holy scriptures, in trade unions and in literature, in sports and politics, in broadcasting and music, in entertainment and education, we helped empower this nation. Despite the fact we were deceived, we came and we achieved. We, our parents, our grandparents, came to this country and in half a century redefined Britain's history. Redefined Britain's history. Thank you. Okay, we're just about coming to that time when we're going to unveil the plaque in a few moments. Mr. Deputy Mayor, Your Excellency, uh, Baroness Howe, Reverend Sister, and as I learned to say in South Africa, all the feathers of the eagle. We are here to honour a man. We're here to honour his achievements. Let him be an example to us all. Thank you very much. Oh, from the love of liberty in the vice of hope and prayer with boundless faith in our destiny after three ladies and gentlemen one two three this great man received the knighthood back in 1962 the first tnt high commission of britain ever knew Becoming a life peer in 1969, the first man to be honored so, Leary Constantine. The example so. to so. the children um, it's, <laughs> no, is no, what no, we are no, really no, celebrating, no, so that no, they no, can no, know no, that no, there no, is no, another no, way no, that no, you can no, go about no, doing no, things no, and no, achieve. You see that flat? Yes. I had dinners there when I came to Britain in 1951. Mm -hmm. I went to his home and then we came here. When CLR James was one of the people who was permanently there. Mm -hmm. It means a hell of a lot to me because Larry Constantine was one of the pioneers in the truest sense of the word. He experienced racism in Britain in a way that you wouldn't even begin to understand. And when he actually brought the cricketing team to respect him, they couldn't believe what had happened to them. That was how racism was alive and Larry sailed through it as though nothing had happened. He wasn't acquiescing, he let them know. But if you saw him, you would never think he was the victim of the most vicious racism. Firebombing to his house in Wembley. Larry Constantine became a barrister quite late in life. However, that didn't stop him from making up for lost time. Leary Constantine's most famous work as a lawyer was to represent the Bristol bus strikers fighting for equality. In 1963, a historic precedent was set when the bus strikers took the city of Bristol to court and won. They were represented by Leary Constantine on that day. This man had no fear at all. He would stand and face every ball. No matter how they play the game, he hit left and right just the same. I think in this day and age, people who want a role model, this is the guy. One of our principles is that we're too proud to beg. Yeah. So we don't beg anybody anything. We generate our own funding. Yeah. So everybody that do things around Constantine, we do it for free. In 1969, Leary Nicholas Constantine was made a life peer became the first African-Caribbean person 
to take his seat in the House of Lords. Leary passed away in 1971 at the age of 69. A great sportsman, a great peer, a great social activist, and a great broadcaster. Last them, last them, last them Leary. Once again it's last them, last them, last them Leary. Yes now, last them, now the man we're praising is top of the line. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello everybody. This is Larry Constantine. Thank you, Larry. Larry Constantine. My name is Delroy Constantine Sims. I'm an academic, journalist, and psychologist. I'd like to thank Newbin Jack Community Trust Limited for taking the initiative to give some sort of representation via the blue plaques for unsung heroes, our heroes which are never really spoken of in the public domain. I've known Jack Bueller since 1992. I hope it goes from strength to strength and I hope it goes international. It means so much to me and I just feel Newbie and Jack, I go to most of their plaques when I can because I think they're doing a great job. I really think they are. My name is Jonathan Goddard here on behalf of Reggae TV. Having myself I studied at the University of the West Indies, Mona, and having also served at the Trinidad and Tobago High Commission in Kingston. So actually I'm an honorary Jamaican. I know about reggae, mm -hmm. and reggae to me is both the music and the flavor. Reggae for me is about liberation song. It's about the triumph of men and women together over all adversity. It's about joy and celebration. Reggae. This is Reggae TV. Reggae TV. Reggae TV. Reggae TV.